Greetings everyone, this is Non-Expert here back again with another video. Today we are going to be solving problem number 14 of our 30 day lead code challenge and the problem which has been given to us today is perform string shifts. So the problem description is that you're given a string S containing lowercase English letters and a matrix shift where each element inside shift is a list which is which has direction and amount. And direction can be zero which means that you need to go or sort of make a left shift or run for right shift. Amount is the amount by which the string S needs to be shifted and a left shift by one means remove the first character of S and append it to the end and similarly a right shift by one means remove the last character of S and add it to the beginning. And eventually what we want to do is we want to return the final string after all the operations. So you've been given an example over here and feel free to pause this video and check out the link given in the description below and try solving this problem on your own. But let's just go through a quick example. So an example is that you've been given a string S which has A, B, C and a shift matrix which is basically a list of lists which has um, direction and amount by which we want to shift. So the output is cab over here and the reason for that is if you go one by one, so you, when you look at 0, 1, 0 means left which means that you want to you want to you know, move on the left hand side or shift on the left hand side and 1 means by how much you want to shift. So if you look at this particular um, string, if you want to go on left and you want to move values which are on the, well, you want to shift by one, ideally what you're going to do is you're going to remove this A, pop it out and then push it over here. So you have BCA. So I think it's going to be the same thing over here as well and you can see it is. And similarly, if you have a uh, one comma two, which means you want to do a right shift by two, that would mean that the last two elements which you have, you need to push them at the, at the beginning of the um, string. That's basically the entire ideology behind this. Um, there's another complicated example given over here, but I'll not go through it. You can you can pause this video and check it out on your own. So there are a couple of ways of solving this problem, and you need to be aware of what your time complexities is going to be running at. Um, there, there are a few ways of doing this in Python in the most optimal way. Uh, one of it would be just to maintain a temporary array which can sort of you know, handle all these push and pop operations. So if you have a left, you only push <clears throat> you only push values inside the temporary value as you start going forward. But as a quick solution, you can actually do uh, string splicing as well. And that's going to be a lot more cleaner code to understand. And then if you want to do the temp, you know, popping and pushing and all that stuff, you, you can do that later. So we're going to start with a base condition, which is just going to be that, hey, if nothing has been given to us, then we return nothing. Or let's return an empty string. For all the other things, we, what we need to do is we need to iterate through all the values inside shift. So let's just go ahead and try to do that. So we're going to have, and we're going to do tuple in packing inside the uh, for loop itself. So let's just say that you're going to have um, direction over here, which is going to be what direction you want to go to and by which is basically going to be by how much you want to shift on. Do note over here that um, there is no restriction given on by which means that I mean there is a restriction which has been given over here which means that it can be from 0 to 100 but it does not dictate that it cannot go out of bounds for 100 and I, I know it's, it's a little difficult to understand that but just as a safety check if it does what you want to do is you want to say that hey by needs to be always a modulus of length of s so you're always inside those bounds as you're sort of moving forward. Now all you want to do is you want you want to have two conditions which is going to be checking for either you want to go on left or you want to go on right. And eventually what we want to do is we want to return s. So we're going to be performing s operations on s itself as you start moving forward. So that's going to be the entire metro methodology. So let's just go ahead and create those string splicing operations. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take an example of ABC and I'm going to make it a very simple example. So what you want to do is you're going to have 0 and 1, which means you're going to do a left shift and you want to do the shift by 1. So ideally, we just want to take this guy out and this guy out and place it over here. But eventually, what you can think about is, is that if I get two substrings, then I can concatenate those values out. So if I get this substring, then I can add this substring to it. And ideally that thing would work because Python is pretty smart about all these things and um, 
that's that's a little more easier to understand as well. <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and try to solve this problem using that string slicing approach. So we're gonna go step by step. So we know that we want this particular um, substring, which is starting by whatever the by element is at. So a simple way to represent that in Python is just by doing this. And what this sort of shows us is that it's saying that, hey, give us everything which starts from index, in this scenario, by index one. So everything from here to here. And also what we can do is we can concatenate that. And I know that's not really a good practice to concatenate that much um, because of some performance issues. But let's just think about it that it is working at the most optimal way. And what I want to do is I want to get all the things before the index by. So doing that in Python is also very really simple. So you have this guy, which determines <clears throat> what's going to be the start, what's going to be the end, and what's going to be the step. Um, so over here, we determine that the start should be from one. And over here, we are saying that the end should be at one. So eventually, what's going to happen is that we're going to have ABC and VCA. This thing that I'm highlighting right now is going to represent just an A. And this thing which I'm representing right now is just going to be BC. And so you have BCA. And we can use the same logic for um, right as well, but the only thing that we need to flip over is probably the negative signs. So the reason for that is it's pretty straightforward. So what you're doing is, is basically the opposite. So if you have one comma one, that would mean that you want to place C, and let's just, let's just paste the output over here. So ideally, what we want to do is if you look at this example, or actually let's take this example for a second. So we're gonna have BCA, so let's just copy that over here. And C, A, B would be the output of this guy. And the shift is by two. So let's just go ahead and do this. So what we're saying over here is that, hey, what I want to do is I want to pick this guy up, place it in front of whatever comes before, I mean, sort of insert it at the beginning of the string. So what you're doing is you're doing that particular logic. You're saying, hey, give me everything which is um, skipping over till two, or rather give me the last two elements. So the way to get the last two elements is just by putting a negative sign over here, and that sort of fetches that out for you in Python. Um, and then what you're saying is that, hey, I have this guy, place it over here, and all the values before that, before all the values apart from the last um, two elements, now we're gonna place them over here, and then you have your string. So let's just go ahead and run the solution. Hopefully I'm not made any errors. So you can see it's running fine. And let's just go ahead and submit this. From a performance side, I think it's going to be a little slow. Uh, and you can see that it's been accepted. And the reason for that is just because Python is really strong when it comes to you know doing sp string splicing and all that stuff. Um, but the basic intuition behind you know, doing it through string slicing is just to like help you evaluate how you want to move forward with your algorithm. You can go ahead and optimize this if you want. Uh, but overall, that's that's how I would try to solve this problem during an interview. The start with the brute force solution, um, which works, and then you can sort of go about optimizing it because even if you optimize it a lot, you're gonna be you know working a lot with the um, memory constraints and all that stuff. So that's all on you. So that's it for today's video. I know that it could be a little bit complicated to understand string splicing, but if you get the hang of it, it becomes really easy. And all you need to know is that inside string splicing, what you have is you have um, a start and an end. If you don't specify the end, it's the last. If you don't specify the start, it's the beginning, which is zero. And, and there's another parameter which you can sort of define over here, which is basically um, which sort of determines the step, but you don't need to worry about that. But overall, like if you do string splicing in this manner, it becomes a lot more easier for you to, you know, build out your algorithm as you move forward. Uh, awesome, that's it for today's video. If there was something that you don't understand, or if you have any doubts, or if you have a better approach, do leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear back from you guys. Uh, there are a few people who have come up with a lot better approaches than I have. I absolutely love it. Uh, and if you have any other suggestions you know for the videos do let me know and uh, feel feel free to just you know ping me whenever you want and if you did like this video do give a like and do subscribe to our channel we are discussion over here and we would love to have you on board with us and if you want to subscribe you're awesome we all know it and have an awesome day thank you and stay safe